hello okay so I have something to get off my chest I've been watching well I've been watching videos now of Ronto 4 and Fructarians all of them um, for at least six months or so I've subscribed to them all I love them all deeply like I feel like they're part of my family <laughs> but um, this last week I'm not even gonna lie to you I am I'm having a little bit of bad feelings like oh so to, to the point where I went and typed into YouTube fat fruitarian any fat any fat fruitarians out there any any fat raw till four people out there and and I am not talking about the people who post I've gained three pounds on the raw till four diet that does not count I'm talking about people whose BMI is higher than 30 percent of their body is fat that also made me frustrated yesterday when I was looking for fat people that were fruitarians or rotoforians and they were complaining that they had gained seven pounds oh my god I gained seven pounds eating bananas shut up ay 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 anyway I am working on my calm <laughs> I haven't had my bananas today I'm headed to work. I'm, I'm on this freaking 13 day stretch at work. It might even be 17. I don't know. But um, I'm actually, I'm, I'm, I'm so done with being at work, I want to throw up. But I love my job. So, <laughs> uh, anyway, back to this other. So, I'm looking for people who have actual weight issues that are eating healthy. And I don't mean healthy, I mean like pure, natural, wonderful, not many sandwiches. And they're, they're not losing weight. Now, I know that in my previous videos, I'm like, I'm throwing away my scale and I don't even care how much you weigh. I just want to be healthy. That is true. But it seems like there's common sense. A modicum of common sense would say to yourself, you know what? If I'm eating 20 bananas and two cups of potatoes a night with some sauce, I probably might lose a pound or two in three months. Maybe, maybe not. Frustrating. I haven't weighed myself. I, I understand that I haven't weighed myself and I'm not going to, I'm not gonna buy a scale again. And yes, I do feel great. There will be a video though about the freaking bloatingness, okay? Cause I've had to figure out how to not have that bloated feeling never really had a gas issue in my whole life and uh, man this will this will make you want to pop your belly but that's for another day today's day is I'm sitting there yesterday I'm watching I'm watching Freely's last couple videos and they're adorable because she's so fucking adorable and the left side of my brain is saying you are so healthy you are a healthy fat fruit bat Yes, I know that Freely says that fat isn't healthy, but gosh darn it, you're doing a good job. And and that's the logical side of my brain. The logical side is saying, you don't smoke, you don't drink, you are walking at least a mile a day, and I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but my job is like from 10 in the morning until 10 at night. So it's not like I can just lollygag and, oh, it's near, let's go take a two hour walk. I can't do that. I get to walk in a freaking circle. And I'm not kidding you. I walk in a freaking circle for 20 minutes. As many times as I can that day. 20 minutes and then another 20 minutes later. Whatever. Logical side of my brain. <laughs> Saying. You're on the right track. You, you've spent years destroying your body with your low calorie diets and your freaky HCG chemicals and your stupid Jenny Craig food. And it's going to take a minute. Okay? It's going to take a minute. It's going to take maybe two years to get your body into normal route. That's logic brain. The other brain says, what the fuck? I can't fit into my fucking pants? Yeah, that's, that's the other side of my brain. And it's not, it isn't happy about it. And right now I'm frustrated about it. Not to the point where I would go back to eating bad. I don't even, I, I honestly don't think I'm ever going to go back to eating meat. The whole flesh thing is foul to me anymore. 
but you know, am I gonna have in my head like the worst thing I could have is a mayonnaise and cheese sandwich? I don't know why, but that's just that's the worst thing I can have right now is a mayonnaise and cheese sandwich. Would I ever have a mayonnaise and cheese sandwich again? Um, I don't know, <laughs> but. Uh, you know, and this this last week honestly has been super hard because at work, like I said, I'm there. I've been there since uh, my last day off was the 13th, and today it is the 29th. So, and I had one day off like three days ago, which just totally messed me up. But, but my boss was like, "Go take a day off." A lot of people having vacations and shit. That's why I haven't been able to have a day off. So, I'm already edgy because I'm so tired of being there and I'm so like I'm, I'm just tired of being there and um, sitting all day long and then I see cute little Freely and her, she's doing little stomach exercises showing me how full her belly is and I just get to the point where I want to throw something at the computer and like a big jar of mayonnaise and just shove it down her throat and I love her and I don't want to think, think that way I'm so frustrated because I'm, I'm doing what they're telling me to do I'm seeing the internal effects as far as like uh, the bloatedness <laughs> and then the sense of well-being and and I, I do feel better my, my skin is better everything's better I don't even need to go through the list you know the list but gosh darn, I mean, I can't fit into my pants. That's a bit concerning. Why can't I fit into my pants? Well, I know why, because I'm bloated. Well, you know, half the time I'm gassy and farty like a freaking 90 year old man. Whatever. It isn't their fault. I mean, really, Christina, um, Hannah, Freely, yesterday, I also, <laughs> I also found this poor girl. I love her to death, and I, I, you know, I subscribe to her. I forget her name now, but and it's probably a good thing, because she, um, <laughs> she was complaining that she had gained like seven pounds. I do. So here's the thing, I'm fat. My BMI is thirty percent or higher. I have been that way since I've been an adult. Actually, I was probably that way since I was a kid, but we're just going to go with adult land. And sometimes I was extremely high and sometimes I was, you know, normal. Like when I was on HCG and I got to probably 17% BMI, maybe. Um, one thing I did find though, is that I really appreciate how the English weigh people. I like the stones business. So I'm, I'm not, you know, 215 pounds. I'm like, 70 stone. It's really quite cool. I'm going there. I'm doing that thing. We're going to stones. I'm not doing the pounds anymore. I'm not doing pounds anymore. I just don't understand it. How can I be eating how I'm eating and not lose a pound? It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Would I stop? No, I don't think I'm going to stop. I mean, that, that's like saying um, I still have a cough even though I've quit smoking. So I'm going to go back to smoking. That doesn't make any sense. See this? This is what I'm talking about. Fuck. Anyway, so. A little bit of a rant there. I don't know. It's frustrating. The whole thing is frustrating. And I'm in freaking traffic. That's frustrating. Maybe I'm just in a frustrating kind of month. Ugh. I don't get it. Guys, I don't get it. Peace out.